Hello, I'm Pat Shepard, Senior Principal Database Product Manager, and welcome to today's episode of Data Basics. Today, we're gonna to be talking about AI vector search, so let's get into it. Most businesses are drowning in data, structured but also unstructured data, images from products, training videos, contract PDFs, emails from every department. When someone needs to find something, they're stuck with keyword search. It's like searching a library for exact words only, Search for network connectivity issues, but the document says Wi-Fi problems? <laughs> You're out of luck. So the problem here is that there's missing information. Critical documents go undiscovered due to terminology mismatches. Users search the same thing three different ways and get three different results. Complex queries take time if they work at all. Poor searches mean lost sales, productivity, and opportunities. This frustrated person, that's your customer service rep, your salesperson, your researcher, anyone trying to find information now. How many of you have experienced this? To understand why this is such a problem, let's look at what databases do really well. Oracle Database handles precise value-based searches on structured business data phenomenally. This circle shows products, orders, customer records, your transactional data, when you need revenue by product for this physical year, the database handles it beautifully. Why does this work? Because data is structured. It's got defined fields and data types. Queries are precise. You know what you're looking for. It's value-based, matching exact values in the fields. But the limitation? Notice what's not here. Images, documents, videos, or understanding the context. The context is what we call semantic meaning what words or symbols actually mean, not just their literal form. Traditional databases weren't designed to understand semantic meaning, and that's the opportunity. Now look what's happened. Your structured data, that inner circle, is surrounded by massive amounts of unstructured data. So that inner layer, that's database and app data. Semi-structured layer, that's JSON documents, invoices, medical forms, etc. The unstructured layer, that's images, videos, social data, call scripts. Enterprises need to search both structured and unstructured data by semantic meaning, not simply keywords, but actual understanding what these things mean. Imagine searching for products, matching a photo or text description, finding houses matching an uploaded style identifying similar medical cases from imaging and patient history combined. This isn't science fiction. This is Oracle AI Vector Search today. So what exactly is AI Vector Search? AI Vector Search fundamentally changes how we search documents, images, and other structured data. The key difference, we search on semantic meaning, not just words or pixels. Think about a doctor researching similar patient cases Traditional search requires exact medical terminology. Vector search understands that cardiac arrest, heart attack, and mitochondrial infraction are, in fact, the same concepts. It works across all data types. Text finds related images, images find related videos. Everything is searchable by meaning, not just keywords or metadata. But how does this really work? AI vector search represents semantic content of any data documents, images, videos, or relational data as a sequence of numbers called a vector. These vectors are stored natively in Oracle database and compared to and searched for finding other similar kinds of vectors. So three key points. Developers create vectors using built-in functions. Vectors live alongside your business data. And Oracle compares vectors to find semantically similar content. Why this matters? Oracle handles the complexity, you get the results. Now, about this mathematical distance concept. I'm not making this a calculus class, but understanding this one concept helps you appreciate why vectors are so powerful. These two vectors, 2623 and 3128, represent the semantic content of two different pieces of data. The distance between them tells how similar they are in their meaning. The closer two vectors are in mathematical space, the more similar their underlying content and meaning is. That's the key to making semantic search possible. This is how Oracle understands that red sneakers and crimson running shoes mean essentially the same thing, even though they share no similar common words. The vectors have these concepts 
and the mathematical distance identifies how similar they are. Oracle supports different distance formulas, Euclidean, cosine, et cetera, each optimized for different data types and use cases. We handle the complexity for you. Let me show you the complete end-to-end -end flow. This shows the complete journey from raw data to search results. It's simpler than it looks. One, input data, text, images, audio, video, whatever you need to search for. Two, the AI model or the encoder where the AI vector transformation happens. It can be database resident, an external cloud, or in an external mid-tier. You choose what works for your application. Then the output vector is a multi-dimensional numerical array capturing semantic meaning, typically about 100 to 1500 plus dimensions depending on the model. Four, vectors are stored in Oracle database, which is optimized for similarity search. Oracle's converged architecture really shines here. And five, search. Vectors are searched using distance formulas through Oracle's vector search AI capabilities. The beauty of this integration is that everything flows together. It's not bunches of different products duct taped together, but one integrated solution. Let me show you this in action. Let's look at a house hunting app example. The customer uploads their dream home style, maybe a craftsman bungalow from a vacation, and they want similar houses in their city within their budget. The technical challenge is finding matches that require the combination of the semantic meaning of the picture and business data, like customer data, their preferred city, budget, and product data, what houses are available at what prices. So Oracle provides this in a very easy to use way. Look at the SQL query, it's six lines, that's it. So you've got a traditional where clause filtered by city and budget. You've got the vector distance, finding the semantically similar houses. This is all just SQL, no new query language. The benefit is it's super simple. If you know SQL, you can build AI powered apps. It's fully consistent, no synchronization issues between different databases. It's a single solution, one query, one database, all with six lines of SQL. Could you see implementing this? Well, this is production ready today. But how do you combine vector search with existing business data effectively? Here's the problem many organizations face with vector search. Searches combining business and semantic data are more effective when both types are stored together. One solution that some vendors push is to continuously send your business data to a vector database, set up pipelines, keep everything synchronized, and hope that nothing goes out of sync. The problem, now you're managing two databases. You've got synchronization lag. Vector database is always slightly behind. You've got data governance issues. You've got complexity with your queries, joining across different systems, and additional costs, because now you have to license and maintain a different database. Look at this diagram. Does this simplify or complicate your life? What if you didn't have to choose? And that's where Oracle's converged architecture changes everything. Instead of sending business data to a vector database, Oracle brings vector capabilities to your business data. Fundamentally different. One database, business data and vectors together, no synchronization, no data movement, just simple SQL. So you've got unified search, no data movement, simplified management, reduced complexity, and no additional cost for additional systems to license, maintain, or otherwise. Here's the story demonstrating the life-saving potentials of this technology. Biofi Technologies in Brazil is revolutionizing bacterial infection diagnosis. Their platform, Abby Recommender, integrates advanced DNA sequencing with AI-powered analytics. In Brazil, bacterial infections cause significant mortality due to delayed diagnosis. Traditional methods take up to five days. With antibiotic-resistant bacteria, patients can die from the wrong treatment. The technology solution? Well, it's really about vector search being able to be applied against DNA sequencing so you can find matches much quicker. All of these technologies work together. DNA analysis, vector storage, similarity search, one integrated solution. The results are transformative. Here's some key metrics. They were able to reduce diagnosis from five days to under four hours. 50% better performance, improved accuracy at half the cost, 2,000 lives saved, 
Behind the numbers, each number represents a real person, real families, real lives transformed by this technology. This is what happens when cutting edge AI meets Oracle's enterprise grade database. And the business impact? The real world implications showcases how Oracle Vector Search solves critical problems while delivering significant cost savings and performance improvements. If Vector Search can save lives in healthcare, imagine what it could do for your business. So how do you get started? Here's three paths you can take. One, you can use Oracle AI Autonomous Database Free, a fully managed cloud service. Two, you can use Oracle Fast Start. If you want to learn quickly, want guided tutorials, Fast Start can get you started and get you the knowledge you want quickly. You want more? Live Labs has comprehensive workshops that you can walk through for real vector search applications, basic concepts to advanced implementations. And the really good news, you can try it free anytime. And third, you can build a real world Gen AI application in this hands-on workshop where you'll use Python to implement RAG, AI vector search, and MCP agent workflows with Oracle Database and OCI Generative AI services. Through live coding examples, you'll experience and create enterprise-grade AI tools and leave with ready-to-adapt code for your business applications. So we've covered a lot of information, from searching structured and unstructured data, to vector mathematics, to the life-saving application of this technology at BioVe. So a final challenge, I want you to think of one example at your company where using semantic search could be a benefit, and then go out and build it. Build a proof of concept today. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Data Basics, and we hope to see you next time.